Rick Prime was not what I expected. I mean, he was still cool, but not used in the way I expected him to be used. Not that it's a bad thing, I actually think it makes sense, it was just very different. But this time on Why Blank is an Amazing Villain, we're talking about Rick Prime. The Prime Rick. The Rickest Rick. The... Rick? Rick Prime was a very interesting character, given he's essentially what created Rick C-137. And I was super excited to see him every time he was on screen. I expected a very long-term feud between Rick Prime and C-137, until he got the shit rocked out of him. But if you aren't familiar with our show, Why Blank is an Amazing Villain, we rank villains on three categories. Connection to hero, backstory slash reasoning for villainy, and presence. So with that, let's get started with Prime Rick. So honestly, for a show that is super nihilistic and revolves around nothing mattering, you know, only a show for the most high IQ of individuals, the connection to Hero here is really solid. Rick Prime killed Rick C-137's family, and that essentially set the ball rolling for Rick C-137 to become who he is now. But the thing that makes this interesting to me is that it really wasn't a big deal to Rick Prime, because Rick Prime is truly the Rickest Rick, which means he's the most egotistical and the most disconnected from care. Which is ironic, given that all that Rick C-137 ever preaches about is how nothing matters, but yet he still can't get over what Rick Prime did to him. So I guess, yeah, the most interesting part to me is seeing someone even more nihilistic than the Rick that we've been following this entire time. But with that being said, I do think Evil Morty has a better connection to Hero, with him being the only other main villain that I can compare Rick Prime to. So I'm gonna give Rick Prime a 7.5 out of 10. He's a good villain, but Nothing crazy in all honesty, especially considering that he's not around for super long. My man doesn't give a shit. Yeah, Rick Prime's backstory is... I, I, I don't know. We don't exactly know what Rick Prime's backstory is beat for beat, but we can assume that it's pretty much... Man. I'm pretty smart. Ooh, multiverse. Time to toy around and see what I can do. It's interesting compared to other Ricks, because only Rick Prime and C-137 actually invented portal travel, while the other Ricks just, like, suckled from Rick Prime's cock. But standalone, it's alright. It could be more interesting if he wasn't around for, you know, two episodes? Anyway, I, I give it an average 5 out of 10. Definitely infinitely worse than Evil Morty's backstory. Rick Prime's presence is, uh, well, he's in two episodes. And don't get me wrong, he fucks in those two episodes, right? Like, he, he fucks, but, like, that's the best I can give him. He is so cool, it is very interesting to watch, with tons of curiosity filling the audience. But keep in mind, Rick Prime's main competition in terms of villains is Evil Morty, which we had five seasons of slow and perfected build-up to, while Rick Prime suddenly appeared and was super cool, but then the next time we saw him, after we met him, he died. And I think that makes sense in terms of the story, as it's clear Rick Prime was less of a real villain character, and more of a plot device for Rick C-137 to fall into a new meaningless depression about how he doesn't know what to do now, because that was all that truly mattered to him. He finally got what he wanted, and finding and getting revenge on, you know, on Rick Prime, but now that he's done that, what does he do now? But because he's more of a plot device than a real character, I'm gonna give him a 4 out of 10. Because Rick Prime has some bad-ass moments, but he doesn't get the build-up I feel he deserved. I think that he absolutely could have been both a good character and a great plot device. Welp, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Why Blank is an Amazing Villain. Only one more episode left this season till we do our uh, big old villain tier list. And we have about 17 villains that will be in this, in this uh, season. So, yeah, it's been an honor. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.